testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. They're ready to come back online here. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Venkabot. Uh, Demon Souls action. My name is David. Yo. Oh, it strikes me. I need to, uh, I think actually, I think I'm good with my camera. I think it's not going to be haunted. I have my door open for, for the first time in months because it's so warm in here. So if I have, like flickering, let me know, guys. I'll put the dummy somewhere. I feel like with the door open, it's not going to be haunted. I could be wrong about that. So let's go uh, with Marla. Kind of a cool portrait there. Our eggs meet. I mean, they gotta be meat technically, right? I'm trying to figure out if, you know, I'm comfortable with that. It's not a matter of are they meat. I mean, sure, they're meat. But am I comfortable with that? Would I rather they be something else? Alright, hey. This game's got beautiful graphics. Holy shit. According to Google, meat is the flesh of an animal. And the egg is the ovum, right? It's technically the flesh of an animal. Unless you don't, maybe I don't know how flesh is defined. Maybe it's not really flesh. Hey guys, we beat a really cool boss last time. We can actually venture further into this place now. Um, do I want to do anything else while I'm here? I got 1,000 souls, so the answer is no. How much uh, moon grass do I have? Not a whole lot. It's okay. The Flame Lurker Archstone. I don't know how flesh is defined exactly. I mean, it's the ovum. Eggs fall into the category of animal byproducts. So what else is an animal byproduct then that's not meat? I guess maybe like gelatin? I don't know though, man. It's the flesh of an animal, right? Isn't that the ovum? Or am I wrong about that? Milk? Okay, okay. Flesh is the soft, substance, uh, the soft substance consisting of muscle and fat that's found between the skin and bones. Okay, all right, so it's not really flesh, then organs don't count. Organs do not count as flesh. So wait, 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 if you eat liver, that's not meat then? Because it's not the flesh of an animal? We're in business, boys. I love this game. I think I might be a little bit loud. Organs do count as meat. Eggs are produced whether or not fertilized or whether or not fertilized or not from hens. That's true, it's a byproduct. Okay. I forgot how eggs work, guys, honestly. Oh hey, this is a new area. Well, it's not a scary ass temple. Yeah, I honestly thought that you had to kill all a chicken to get an egg for like a full three minutes there straight. I forgot that eggs were laid by chickens. To be totally honest. Whoa! Well, why is there already another fog door? The fuck? Can you see that weird fire out there? What the fuck is going on up there? What the hell is going on up there? Let me go out here and explore real quick again. What is going on out here? Well, it sure is fucking dark. Hmm, alright. Uh, hens don't fertilize eggs. Wow. So, I'd say no. Eggs aren't meat, unless they're a mostly grown chicken there. <laughs> then it's delicious murder. <laughs> Correct, as I said. Since bad, words bad, brain no good. Right, I've got another fog door down here, I guess. The fuck? Oh, a dragon god. Uh, hey. Hey. Oh. 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 Oh, it's that guy from the fucking intro. I'm trying to destroy the fucking building? Yo, I don't want to fight this dude. Good thing I got no souls to lose.
The stipulation of between skin and bones probably makes it not a meat. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. This is really stupid of me. Like, what am I doing? The greed. <laughs> All right. He's got to have moves to hit me over here, right? What am I doing, guys? I just turned the game on. Can I fucking breathe? All I can think of is I gotta bait a punch and then step aside and hit his arm. Like, if I bait a punch right here. Oh my god. This is really glitchy. I really can't, like, reach him. Block it! <laughs> ah! Okay. So, I'm going to equip... a bow. And try and figure out how that works. And then try and hit him in a weak spot, I guess. Let's see here. How do I. I'm not even sure I have. A... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. I'm using the wrong buttons. Alright. So I don't have a bone arrow on me. Well, let's just go and fight him again. Um, I think I also want to equip. Uh, let's see here. The, uh, cling ring. It's not actually that huge of a boost of health, to be honest. Ah, well. This might be, you know, like one of these meant-to-lose fights, like I don't have what it takes yet, for whatever reason. I come back here later in the game when I have a certain magical weapon or whatever. I hear another lizard. Okay, so after the next button, I'm gonna try to get this lizard, I guess. Okay. So that's cool. <laughs> Might as well try to get my souls back for no particular reason. Come on. So how close to this can I stand? Get a counterattack. Maybe even out here? He's gotta have a pretty big shock wave, you would think, right? What if I can make him destroy the building with enough punches? Okay, so yeah, it's too close to him that time. This might be too close right here. This isn't too close. This is pretty damn close to being too close, but... Can I make him hit other parts of the building? Oh, is this starting to breathe fire now? This is getting pissed off. I swear he's getting pissed off. I mean, this would be trivial if I had a bow and arrow, right? Which is why I think it couldn't be what it wants me to do. 
Can I make him punch anywhere else? Like, do you want to fight me over here? Oh, there's a fucking huge sword over there. Right, there's something to do with this map, for sure. What's up, Justin? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a meant-to-lose fight, Justin. I think I can't win this fight, to be honest. Or if it is, if I can win it, it's something really, really obtuse. I'm supposed to find out later. He looks real badass, but there's no way to hit him. I see over here there is some kind of sword over there. But I can't reach it. He doesn't want to fight me because I'm standing right there. He only has one attack as well. Like, he's not a real boss. Oh. He's punching a new spot. Okay, so I can make him punch over there. Oh! So I can make him punch more than one spot. Okay, 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 okay. So I can make him destroy this path somehow. I have to bait an attack and then dodge roll the last minute. Alright. I can make him destroy stuff. Must be what it wants me to do, right? But why wouldn't he attack me when I was on the left side? If I roll at the right time, it should be. I should have iframes, right? Another fucking uh, lizard. Dodge roll. Dodge roll didn't work. Oh, some shit collapsed, I think. Run back here. I can't really heal, though. I can't really heal until I have an idea of what I'm doing. So what did I accomplish over here just now? I feel like he destroyed that pillar. Oh, I think he cleared the path. Run. Hey, look at me. I can run over here now. Okay. So he blocked my path. Okay. I don't think I can do damage to him. Alright. I wish it was not sending me all the way back here. Could be more less forgiving though. Wait, so is that how you get that sword that's over there? That's kind of what I thought at first, Justin. But the thing is, he will not attack me over there. I feel like I have to work my way around somehow. Because he won't attack me over there. He just totally ignores me if I stand there. But on that right hand side, he will definitely try to attack me. So I run over here. We won't destroy this. I have to. I don't know if I can dodge roll this or what. I might not be able to dodge roll it to be honest. But what if I ran? Now. Ho ho! Now will you fight me over here, Mr. Dragon? Let me get the sword real quick. Mr. Dragon. I'm right here, bro. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight me over here. Okay, but so there's a trick to this. People said that compared to other Dark Souls games, the game has really Zelda-esque boss fights. And they ain't lying. So he's gonna block my path. But I mean, so I can make I can make his left hand be occupied. That's what I want to do. Like, does that help me in some way? Make him occupy his left hand. Oh. He let me pass for some reason. Oh, no, I guess not. 
Ouch. <laughs> yeah, this is a really annoying fight. It's okay, though. I mean, it could be worse. At least it's not hard. It could be really obtuse and difficult. It's just really obtuse. So I wish it wouldn't send me all the way back each time. I wish it would just respawn me right there to figure it out. But aside from that, eh, it's whatever. I feel like I'm getting somewhere with this. So I guess my next step is trying to attack his finger, right? I tried that once before, it didn't work, but I didn't really have a good swing at it. Maybe I can bait an attack, then when he's, re then when he's recovering, I can hit his finger. I bet you that's what I'm supposed to do. It's not even up too, it's just lame. Yeah, it's all the above. Alright, so run over here. So that missed me the first time, I think. Yeah. Now when he raises his fist, I need to run. There. Now I want to... Um, get his finger. I, I made it through that time somehow. We got treasure! Uh, hey there, bud. Can I activate this somehow? Operate it. Uh, okay. Let's go, I guess. The dragon god. Dra Ooh! Not so godly now, are you, dragon god? Wow. This thing looks fucking sick. I guess what do you guys do? He knocked a path over that I can get closer to him, I guess, now. Yeah, I can go down there. I want to go inside the building, though. But no can -dosville. There's more treasure down here. Alright, so I can revive myself if I wanted to. Alright, so what's the dealio? You still want to punch me, bro? Seems that way, right? Probably have to clear this rubble. What are you doing? Headbanging a little bit? Bro, can you clear this rubble for me real quick? Oh, I can just clear it. Well, that's weird. Can I clear the other stuff for the sword? No way, right? Hey, bud, you want to swing at me or something? No? Alright. <sighs> He's gonna want to swing me eventually, right? How about over here? Not sure what he just did. Ouch. <laughs> Alright. So I guess I should just try and fit my way through. Not sure what's going to happen now. Do I have to shoot me with the arrow? More cutscenes? Or is it going to be defaulted to down there now? I don't know. Alright. I'm going to try and destroy that wall. Apparently some of these walls are destructible by me. I didn't know that. You know, to get the sword, I mean, on the left. I assume we have to travel back around there from the, from the other side or something to get that sword. So I feel like I'm going to have to do that arrow thing again. So I can't destroy these ones. Good design language, assholes. Why attacks over there first? Yeah, you're real fucking scary, bro. <sighs> so you lift. Who's fucking impressed? I 
Let me out. Ah. Uh. Alright. Yeah. This game's camera is really killing me right now. Normally the camera's okay because we're like in big open battlefields for the most part. Or only fighting an enemy on one side of us. But this is narrow little passageways and stuff. I'm trying to watch this big guy. I hard to tell like what he's doing or why I'm dying. I'm kind of trying to figure out like why does he put his fingers down sometimes not other times, right? It's kind of hard. They just kind of come down or they don't. I'm pretty sure the boss is killing him. I think they're in cahoots. Bait him to attack this. I can't destroy this for some reason. Oh, I can destroy that. Alright, well. So I can destroy that. I don't need to wait for him to do it. So I can probably just lure him to attack the middle area, then run over there and slash it, and then run back. There, bud. So his fingers are here. Is he gonna lift them now? Yes. Run. All right. He's gonna lift them, and then I need to get killed by them. Just putting them. So we, the first time I ran through, I'm not sure. Why he didn't just crush me? There's some more. There's more puzzles here, I guess. I gotta figure out how to not have his fingers just come down on top of me. First time he's let me through. After his, I thought when his hand raised up, I could just run through. But he has like at least three different stations for his hand. Exciting. Very, very exciting. I'm enjoying this gameplay right now. I appreciate them. Uh, this trial and error bullshit. It's uh, the real thing. It's the real thing. It's how you make a game. So there's that. I can attack this. Alright, so he takes his hand off for what? To look around for me. Whatever, dude. He lifts his hand up to look around for me. Where did he just attack? I thought he was a... Whatever. <laughs> He's amazing. Yeah, so I wish I could see where he was attacking. All I see is a bunch of rubble. There's a boss behind there somewhere doing some kind of animation that'd be helpful to know. Have him on the ropes. I got past him the first time, no problem. What the fuck? I guess I gotta bait him to punch. I'm gonna try what I did the first time. What if I ran out here? I fucked it up. I was gonna do something different this time, but I kind of goofed. Alright. Here's the punch.
Oh. So when the fingers come down, he's ready to punch. So, I mean, I can't react to that. I can't protect myself. Unless I can really roll. Th I think you can't roll through it, though. I think that's too many active frames. I tried roll throwing a couple times, thought it was a really good timing, and I still got hit, like, really late. Like, I swear I saw my iframes end, and then I still got hit. Because, like, the rubble's, like, falling above me or something like that. Like, the entire area is still shaking, and I still get hit. I feel like you have to just not be near it. I don't think you can roll through it, you know, on impact. I think you have to just not be near where it hits. So, uh, yeah, this time let's not be, let's just, you know... Do it the first time, right? Make him hit that fucking thing himself. And make him hit the barrier himself, and then bait him to attack the middle, and then try and run through. So bait him to come back over here. He's gonna whiff once for some reason. And destroy that thing over there. Right, now he's gonna attack over here. I need to run away. Do so he lift his hand up? Yes, he does. Now if I... No, I want to beat him to attack this now, I think. No. That's where I'm going to attack, I think. Maybe? I don't know. I don't really understand why he's doing the things he does. <laughs> what? Okay, 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 okay. And the, the game is programmed correctly, right? Venkabot's the problem. There's a trick here. I'm not missing So the first time I got lucky, right? I, I, I think I glitched it out last time. I haven't yet figured out how to get through there correctly. There's a correct way to get through there. How do I make his fingers not be there? He puts his fingers down to throw the punch. And I can't get between his fingers and the punch, can I? I can't, there's no safe spot between his fingers and the punch, I don't think. I can't, like, slither around in there. I mean, I could try and... Bait his attacks? Okay, here's what I'm gonna try and do. Run over here. Bait him to destroy these two pillars. He destroys that one first for some reason. It's a Toy Tori, but worse, yeah. I'm not an adorable little big headed chicken guy. I run away. Okay, okay, okay. So now I want to bait him to attack me right here. Run away this way. Okay, now make a little bit of progress. Just a little bit of progress. He doesn't want to attack me with his hand. He wants to attack me with his fist. Ouch! No, I take it back. Because he doesn't mind attacking me with his hand. I thought he wouldn't just grab me. I thought he would... I thought that if I stood still, he would put his fingers in front of me. And then want to hit me with his fist, and I could dodge the fist and then run past where his fingers were and then repeat it until I made it all the way through. Right, I wanted to bait his punch, and then run through when he lifts his hand, and then bait another punch. That way I could keep on making a little bit of progress. But no, he will just grab me with his left hand too. He has no qualms about that. I could probably roll through his left hand though, compared to his right hand, right? His, his right hand, I mentioned, I think I have a theory. I'm pretty sure I can't roll through his punch because it has too many active frames. It has more active frames than I have eye frames on my roll. But I bet you could die to his finger. But it's kind of hard to tell when the finger's gonna come down. You know, we beat both games, Justin. We beat Tokutori 1 and 2. It was amazing. They're all, on, they're all on YouTube. For better or worse, they're all on YouTube. I'm gonna try and dodge through his fingers this time when he tries to grab me. So he lifts his hand up. How much time do I have before the next attack? Roll. Hey, I did it. 
Okay, let's just hand up. Oh, I made it through. Well, that kind of worked. I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to do or not, but... I rolled through his, uh... Can I skip this? Yes. I rolled through it, so I'm safe up here now. We established that, it would appear. I think I want to just destroy all these this rubble, this debris. Well, there's treasure down there. How do I get over there? Like this, apparently. Okay, that's some treasure. He's gonna have to attack me down here at some point, right? Hey there, bud. Can I attack your hand? I can't get past this point. Because this hitbox, maybe? I'm getting like a blood effect. I think it's a huge hitbox. Hmm. Okay. Look at the Zelda music. So I can go up here anyway. I can't go that way though, but I can go back this way. Okay. So only on the the last rubble, it seems like. He actually attacks me. There's treasure over there. Oh, no, there's not. Is there? No. Just lava. I think he's supposed to run through there. I like my plan of uh, just dodging through his fingers. Try and expect the fingers to show up and then dodge through. I think it's... Mm, that can't be what you're supposed to do. I don't know what you're supposed to do, though. I'm just going to try and glitch it out again. They just ripped off the old Iron King. Lee, it's kind of awesome thinking. Kind of similar to the old Iron King, where he's like a big torso guy. You know, he's one of those big torso guys. You know the type. Alright. Is this more or less bullshit than the Bed of Chaos, though? That's my question. I think maybe more, right? Better cast, you can beat it, you know, second or third time through without too much trouble. This is some really uh, annoying bullshit. Less says this, less than Bit of Chaos. I guess because unlike Bit of Chaos, if you knew his pattern, you could probably beat him pretty easy. Okay, so here's my plan. I want to try and dodge roll through his fingers. Oh, almost. I'm gonna have another shot here, though. I can roll. I can run into a roll in this game, unlike in later games. Okay, yeah, the roll worked pretty well there. You know, I think you have a lot of iframes. I could probably roll pretty early. It seemed like. Like I rolled pretty early. I still didn't get hurt. All right. So I got the treasure down there that I wanted. I need to go down there again. Wait, why are you roaring so early? Alright. So he has more than one... Fire breath attack. What the fuck even come near me? So he has multiple attacks, right? The goal is to destroy the rubble like as fast as you can so you can get out of the range of the fire breath. That's what I think. I think it dies in two hits. I think I need to not use my heavy attack, use my light attack instead. It's a little bit faster. Right, let's try not to get by his fingers this time. Right, I can dodge roll pretty early, it would seem. Huge 
huge lag spike every time. This game is an exclusive game, right? Why would they have him do that if it causes a huge lag spike every time? You know the hardware. It's not like you have variable hardware. Alright, so let's try and run. Roll. Damn. Ah. That can't be what they want me to do. But his fingers are in the way. What if I slashed his fingers? I tried it the first time, but I'm not sure if it actually hit him or not. I'm not sure if it, like, hit off the bounce off the wall, maybe. Maybe there's a new animation. If I hit his fingers, maybe he'll not punch me. Because I can't hit his fingers, because he'll punch me, right? He has too much, there's not enough time. What if I did it after the punch, though? Let's try that. I'll try and, you know, bait a punch and then run over and hit his finger before he can retract his hand. Maybe that's why his hand is such a long time before it comes back. His fingers, I mean. Alright, 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 alright. Run this way. Now run back hit his finger. No, it doesn't do any good. Pretty sure it's gonna hit me, right? Yes. No, it doesn't do me any good to hit his finger. Oh, he can't hit me behind the pillars! Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? Hide behind the pillars so he can't hit me with his finger. If I stand here, will you fuck me up? No. Just curious. Okay, I think I might have got a piece of the puzzle here. If you stand behind one of the pillars, he can't hit you with his hand. Alright, so this part, I'm still not totally sure what I'm supposed to do. I can mash R1, not R2, to get past these things a little bit quicker. these things. I think he's actually probably going to attack me over here. So there's where I want this treasure over there. Anything else cool over here? Some weird colored textures. Alright, let's use this thing, I guess. Dragon God, Dragon God. Let's get him. Is all kinds of weird. Like, why is he here? Why are there traps here for him? It's just gameplay. So I can hit his head if I wanted to. What if I don't? What if I want to get treasure instead? Fuck killing a god. I want treasure. Yeah, it's like a Godzilla sound. I want this thing. Let me through, damn it! So Vince says, uh, what if this dude didn't just sit in a pit full of spear guns? That's what I was thinking, Vince. Like, why is he here? Why is there? Why is he attacking this building that's got traps for him? How do I get over there? All these questions. The cool sword over there, Vince. Fine. I'll go over there and smack you. In the oh, he's low on health. I can kill him now. Well, shit, I don't want to kill him. I want to see if he'll give me that sword. I want to see if he'll if I make him punch up there or something. There we go, a little bit glitchy. Chotto Grichi. What's up, dude? 
Can you give me a kiss? Like a deadly kiss? Yes. <laughs> Alright, they gotta get through there. You gotta time your attack so that it's not getting his fire breath. Kind of cool, though. I like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna try and not hit him with a second spear this time. I'm gonna hit him with the first spear, but not the second one. Just in case killing him, you know, I lose my chance to get that sword. GG, easy. Yeah, if he, I was, was going to chip off the cliff anyway if I if he wasn't going to hurt me. Because I want to see if he would... Uh, I think even the sword might be a world tendency thing. Oh, maybe. So is my trick for getting past... Oh, yeah, yeah, the pillars. He passed his fingers. The big pillars. Big Burr. There's a bunch of good weapons that you can only get with white... Oh, okay, I didn't know that, Vince. Thank you for the tip. So I want to run over here and then hide behind this pillar. And then run over here. Oh, I can't get that far. Hide behind this pillar, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> that was pretty awkward. Print so what the world doesn't see what changes the changes like the layout of the map or something. So I could have reached it. Let's skip this. Now this part I don't know how to do either. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I'm just kinda of mashing and hoping for the best. Seems kinda of like glitchy. So if I don't make it, I accept no responsibility. I made it last time from doing nothing. See, I don't know why you attacked me there that time. He didn't do that last time. Rubble disappear. Doors will open. Okay, I got you. I got you. He seems to have, like, different places he can attack. He can breathe fire. I'm sure you're supposed to bait him. Or maybe just watch his animation and try and figure out which way where he's going to attack and just avoid that area or what. But I'm just going to brute force it. This, I got through there the first time just by, you know, not even looking at him. Just going as fast as I could. So yeah, so my theory about the pillars is kind of wrong, too. About using the pillars to hide from his fingers. Because there's pretty a long stretch where there's no pillar. So how do I avoid his fingers there? Oh, I know how to do that. Okay, I can do it. So I do this. And do this. Right, run, run, run. That kind of, kind of worked like I expected. All right. So yeah, I don't know what to do here at all. Just destroy the rebel and run, I guess. So he roars, can I see where he's going to breathe fire before I die? Not really. Yeah, I guess I kind of could there. Alright, alright. See, I could have watched him, I guess, and ran away in time. If not for all this shit in the way between me and him. It's kind of hard to see his character model with all this shit. But yeah, I think I could actually realis uh, realistically... Observe his patterns and you know, observe his animation and then try to avoid where he's gonna breathe fire. Oh god, this is fucking boring. This is the weird thing about trial and error gameplay. It's like he's such an epic giant boss. <laughs> but by the time you finally beat him, you're so fucking bored with it that a lot of the you know, a lot of the Excitement is gone. Like, you think that fighting a boss like this should be you know, really thrilling. And the first few times you're trying to figure it out, you know, if it takes you a couple tries, it can still be thrilling. When it takes you a billion tries, it's not that interesting anymore. There's no, like, you know, it's not like a real fight. I'm, I'm being salty. It's just about 
all these patterns. Ah, it's on me and something. I don't know what I'm talking about. So if I hide here, he's gonna put his fingers down. Oh, he can't see me? Can I move? Is he looking for me? Maybe he's looking for me. So I can run out now. Oh! I did not understand that. Okay, so he's doing his whole head moving thing. That's a lot of Souls boss to be fair. Dude, I've been the entire franchise. Only a couple bosses have killed me in the whole fucking franchise. You don't get me started, Vince, about this Souls is trial and error stuff. 99% of bosses in this franchise, if you go in patiently enough, you can beat them first try. Realistically. Just it took you long enough to realize he's looking for me. That head thing he's doing is actually him scanning. I gotcha. Okay, okay. So, I want to try and watch him. Okay, so where's the fire gonna come out? Way up there. So run back, run back, run back, run back. Now run forward, run forward, run forward, run forward. And now where's he gonna come out of that? Okay, he's coming toward me. Right, now run forward. They can run past it now, huh? Bruv! Are you fucking joking? Oh my fucking god. There was literally not even a wall there. Alright. Try again. This is great. This is great. Alright. Do your damn thing, do your thing, your thing. I'm fresh squeezed juice. You're that tang. Can I hide here? I think maybe I can. He doesn't really look the other way though. I can bait him attack me over here. I can hide right here. Okay, looking for me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? That makes a lot more sense now. Alright, now he's pinned down. Let's do this again. I'm not totally sure how to do this. I don't think I have the right idea. Watch him. Where's the fire coming down at? He's only he's actually not breathing fire yet. Oh, is he still looking for me? Is he still scanning? Oh, I might still be scanning. Kind of 
hard to tell. Run up and punch him in its fucking mouth. What's up, good vibe? Okay, so now is he turning his head that way? Okay. Then he roars. Okay. Looks this way. Starts looking that way. Then he roars. Am I still invisible? I guess I kind of am invisible, huh? How many roars you can't see? So there's another thing up there. I have to wait till he looks the other way, though. He never really looks all the way away from there. He doesn't turn over his left shoulder at all. When he's roaring, he can't see, I don't think. Oh, look, he's... Yeah, for that third one, you cannot do a wide swing. Oh, my gosh. I think that I can still hide from him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sure I can. Yeah, otherwise he would have. That explains why it seems so random, right? Why the first few times I couldn't tell why he wasn't breathing fire on me consistently in the same spots. Because it was based on when his head was turning. You know, but if he wasn't facing me, I could get a lot farther. That's why it seemed inconsistent. So he's definitely still stealth mode. Still like a stealth minigame here. Alright. So, I guess I want to bait his attack again. So it makes it a little bit easier here. You're real fucking scary, dude. So when he lifts his hand, that's when he starts scanning. So I can run up as far as I want to before then. Saw me at the last minute, I guess. <sighs> I wish he had eyes, like actual pupils, because when he's turning his head, I can't tell which way he's looking. Is he always looking right where his, where his horn is pointing? I feel like if I'm beside his head, I should be able to get seen. His little chin horn. Okay. I stretch his neck out. I respect that. He looks over there. I think maybe he only he sees with his chin. Maybe that's why it's that big horn is there as a way to tell the player where he's looking at. Alright, so he's close. He's, 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 like, he's high in ecstasy or what? Alright. But if my horn theory is true, he never really looks all the way over here. Seems weird. <laughs> I 
This dude is high on X, dude. He's like, oh, oh. Okay, got like a weird little lag spike there. Can I hide back here? It's not very wide. I do this high on X. I feel like I'm gonna get seen right here. He's doing that thing with this fucking that X thing. I, he closes his eyes when he does that. <laughs> So I run up further a little bit. Once he does this little thing where he goes, ah. Oh. Wish I could fucking see. There it is. <laughs> so I need to wait for him to do that, I guess, and then start fighting my way through. There it is. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so good. I just want to dance. Alright. Oh my god. What's in this water? Oh, shit. Alright, so I guess my whole plan was to go up here, right, and see if I could bait an attack. But yeah, it's probably a world tendency thing from the way that, uh, Monoxide made it sound. Hey, bud, do you wanna destroy this rebel up here or some shit? No. He sees me, but his AI says attack down there. Alright, let's try and actually kill this guy this time. No promises, he might have more tricks up his sleeve. Alright, bud, let's do this. Get him. Alright, so now there's no more threat until I'm right by his nose. Which would seem... We gotta check out and see what his kind of, what his breathing pattern is. All right, what do we got here, bruh bruh? What do you got, bruh bruh? So he's breathing out. Okay. Opens his teeth. Breathes out. And he opens his teeth and breathes out. That's tough. My weapon is very slow. Maybe he only has one hit left on him, though? Can I go around the other side? Maybe it'd be easier to get at him from? Let's see here. Pretty cool sprite. Character model, excuse me. That's a little bit easier, I guess. Climb inside and cut your way out. <laughs> like the way you think, apples. You think it's, it's fireworks will kill me, even if I'm not? Okay, so he's not dead yet. Ouch! It's alright, it doesn't kill me one hit. Okay, well, I guess I probably use this grass now, huh? Poop. So, I actually, if I can just hit him, I don't have to wait. Because he's gonna rear his head back. Like this. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, because he's not gonna actually breathe fire again on me. He's stun locked. Alright, run up. Ah, fuck. 
He's still alive. I deserve to die right there. I got so greedy. Right. The demon was destroyed. Okay. Good shit. Got an art star out of the whole deal. Yay! Gee, fuck. Hey, what's up, Duckface? How you doing, homie? Yeah, that fight was pretty ass. That's definitely my two among my two least favorite fights in the series. That and a bed of chaos. Alright. It wouldn't have been that bad if they had made it more clear from the get-go there's a stealth operation. Could lean and die there, or you'd be fucked. Yeah, it's okay. I would have just had to start over again. Again. This is doing pretty fine. Gain a power that's beyond human imagining. A point of strength or <laughs> A point of strength or something. Alright, so let's see, I got a bunch of souls. So Ducks is doing pretty fine. My dude from Finland. My Finnish friend Duckface. You enjoying the spring weather, Duckface? Alright, so I guess that's the end of the line. So I've completed this map now. You obtain the soul of an arch demon. The thick colorless fog shall oppress you no more. So I can actually venture further into the first map now, huh? Noise, noise. That would have been a pretty cool fight. If they just made it more clear from the get-go, it's supposed to be stealth. Alright. Yeah, I guess. I guess I do. Nah, there's a glitch where if you died at roughly the same time as the boss, you wouldn't be able to finish the game. Oh! Yeah, I kind of almost fell off the... I was kind of thinking that, Dix, because I thought I might fell off the ledge. And I thought, what if what would happen if I fell off the ledge while I was giving that cutscene? Where it said, you know, oh, you got soul power or whatever. So, vitality, I guess, huh? I mean, I've got so many souls. Do I want to, like, upgrade my claymore? It's a pretty good amount of HP still. The only fight in this game that annoyed me is Flame Lurker. That dude is good at randoming you out. The guy I just fought? I thought he had a pretty strict pattern. Alright. The guy before the dragon just now? I kind of like that fight. I like that fight a lot. Now that you've missed it, uh, yeah, that sword is indeed um, based on world tendency. No, that was Dragon God. Yeah, I mean, the guy before the dragon God. Is he the Flame Lurker? Alright, let's see here. So I've got 22 vitality and endurance and strength now. That's pretty cool. Uh, how close am I to upgrading my claim Art thou done? Art thou done? Don't get an attitude with me, lady. Alright, back off. Yeah, I don't know. That dude made a fire. I only just jumped on. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed that fight. I thought that was one of the funner fights I've, you know... Kind of. I kind of like the fights in this game and the franchise that are a little more fast-paced. I feel like I'm actually fighting somebody. Having to watch their combos and find their opening, that kind of thing. All right, let's try to upgrade this. I can... Dude made a fire. I thought dude made a fire. He had like a big attack where you'd slam his claws on the ground and make a big explosion. All right, let's see here. Uh, Claymore, what do I have here? I only have one large hardstone shard. So yeah, I could buy these, but they're very expensive. No interest, eh? I'm, I'm still in first try squad, the Flame Lurker. I got so close. Second time was easy. But I was so close to freaking out his pattern right before I fucking died. I was like, damn! I could have been bragging on everybody. I first try squad the flame lurker with my tank and ash. We'll see the rise of new heroes. Thou seekest then I play a pretty tanky character though. I, bosses for me are not that big of a deal usually. I play a cheap ass build. Alright, so um I wanna raise my endurance, I guess. Shit. I get two more equip burden and only two more stamina. That's like starting to get pretty you know, the returns are diminishing, right? This is still pretty decent. The game looks different from how I imagined it, like uh kind of the same, but not. I mean in terms of comparing it to Dark Souls, you mean? Uh, Criven, I think I unlocked the sword for beating the dragon guy. You think so, Criven? I'll go back there and look for it then. What's up, dude? I'm sure we've met. I'm David. Welcome aboard. Is that what you mean in your title, saying you didn't think it'd be like this? Uh, no, I meant because I played Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and I always thought that Demon Souls would feel really archaic. 
and really nasty, but it feels great. It feels just like Dark Souls, and it's a whole new adventure. I'm really loving the hell out of it. Like, to me, it's just Dark Souls. It's slightly dialed back, you know, there are a couple things that they polish better in the later games, but for the most part, it's still the Dark Souls I know and love, but just a whole new adventure. Killing a boss pushes your will to towards white. Okay. Okay, so I can still go back and get it if I can change my tendency. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, that gives me a lot of health. That's like, you know... What, 5% more health-ish? Not really. Not quite that. Versus my stamina, that's a really pathetic amount of stamina. The equip burden's okay, though. I'm gonna go with endurance still. Yeah, equip burden, you know, plus two is not that, not that bad. World didn't see was easier with the servers up because you started at like everyone's average or something like that. Okay. I've got some uh, hard souls as well. Art thou done? Assuming you want to manipulate it, I'd argue the opposite Name garbage. Oh, have you encountered where you can step up into things, step up onto things in Demon Souls? Yes, it's so fucking annoying, Kriven. It, it pisses me off, dude. I'll be like, because it's not consistent. It's only for every, you know, random things. Just jumped up on top of them. But it may not be expected. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in this game, sometimes you just, like, climb up shit. It's really unexpected, and I fell off a ledge one time because of that. I thought that I was safe to, like, go near this uh, railing. And I was like, I'm going to jump over it. All right, let's see here. I want to use my hard souls. What do you got? I'm going to store this uh, demon soul. I can actually use this. Wow, that's a lot. So if you just wanted the good gun, you could actually you could just grab it. Okay. Because it's usually cranked toward white by default. So is white what when you win? Dark is when black is when you die, right? I was terrible when I first played Demon Souls. I only just lately came back and beat it now that I have more patience from playing Dark Souls 1 through 3. Okay. It's kind of the same boat I'm in. I've beaten Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and I'm coming back to Demon Souls. If you're online, the world doesn't see would reset to the server meeting every time you play. Yeah, but I think what Garbage is saying is that usually it was pretty skewed toward white. It was a server median. So that's why it was easier for him to unlock stuff. He was, he was really close to white anyway. Hey, 400 more. Damn. Can I sell some shit? No. No, you can't. Scrub. That's what we got here. Grass, 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 ephemeral eyes, stones, all right, hard stone stuff. Talisman for healing, that's kind of nice. Murden set. This game does have much less equipment than later games. Master's ring. Raises direct hit damage, lowers other damage. Well, that sounds useful. A ring made of straw rope. Damage from direct hits increases, while damage from other attacks decreases. You mean my direct attacks, or or attacks on me? A ring from a faraway land known for its swordsmithing, said to be imbued with a distinct spell. Oh man, black tendency is harsh. Made a mistake? I struggled to get back out of a hole you've dug. My friend didn't bother with finishing the game, since he hit a wall that was frustrating. Him in the storm world. Black tendency is mean. I'll never know what that's like, I guess. Because I'm amazing at this game. And all games. Unless they involve, you know, hiding from a dragon, I guess. Then I die a million fucking Ooh, times. Okay. I'm keeping a Let's store some shit. Uh, yeah, store that. Store that. Store all this shit. And store um, the Master's Ring, I guess. So I'm not hard to tell if it's supposed to be defensive or offensive. Raises direct hit damage. Lowers other damage. So it means I'm like less vulnerable to AoEs, maybe? And poison and stuff? No clue. Flame resist? Fuck that. Okay. Alright. You have a heart of gold. Alright. I like it. 
So, uh, I want to actually get like 400 more souls and then level up again. I don't want to lose this 7,000 souls I've got. So, I let's go back here and check to see if I can get that sword. I think Master's Ring increases sweet spot damage. If you miss the good hit, you, if you have less damage. Oh! Okay. So, Vince says, that really useful Demon Souls item description, LMA. Oh, yeah. Raises damage. Oh, I'm here. That makes sense, I guess. Raises damage. Lowers damage. Yeah, I would never have guessed what Kriven said based on that description. Probably it's like a direct hit area on my sword, maybe? Oh, I hear a fucking lizard again. Look, I killed the boss, right? There's my souls. My zero souls. So, Kriven, like an expert in this game, or what? Bonk. Bonk. Chunk of clear stone. Which version are you playing? I have the Hong Kong English version. It says sweet spot. I'm playing the you know, North American version. Sweet spot damage, huh? This one said direct hit. Well, I'm obsessed with it, but I don't think I'd say expert. It's good enough for me, man. Good enough for me. Alright, so what's with this? It appears the rubble is all still there. Is there a way to check my tendency in this game, or not? Oh my gosh. Ah darn. Poop. Yee. Got my lost soul. All zero of my souls. You can view tendency in some screen. I like the way you think, Vince. If you pause, start menu. Okay. World tendency. Oh, okay. Stone Fang. So it's lit up, kind of? Does that mean it's closer to white? But not quite there? So I didn't see anything that just says white. It just had some whack-ass JPEGs. So it's white, but not pure white, I guess. Okay, okay. Kind of like me. Darn it, Kriven. It's okay. Fuck a sword, dude. I already had this claymore. It's amazing. I don't want for anything in this world. You son of a bitch! He slithered right through there! Bro, give me that sword! Bro, 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 give me that sword! Bro, 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 give me that... Alright, whatever. Hispanic world tendency, let's go. <laughs> I'm somewhere between pure white and Hispanic world tendency. It would be a light of bright white if it was pure white. Okay. Almost blinding, really. There's shit up there. How come I can't get up there? Is it tendency as well, or is it just nothing up there? There's a weird little glowing flame. Kind of figured out I'd have more of this dungeon to explore. Alright, cool. Uh, so, hey, I'm actually going to venture back a little ways and then try and get some souls. I need 400 souls. Who wants to yield some souls? I think these worms are worth a lot of souls. Am I wrong about that? Hey, bro. Face me, you coward. I deserve everything I'm going to get right now. Right in your fucking face. Hit him again. Oh my god. That's pretty good souls, yeah. Bruv. Bruv, bruv. Face me. Noise. How did that not hit me? I think I only ever encountered one instance of PvP through my entire playthrough. And it was that one uh, PvP thing. That one specific PvP, uh, PvP thing. I'm sure I understand. Face me. Face me. Oh, he's not even aware I'm here. Bruv. Got him. Got him. 
Got him. Scrub. Whoa! Thank you for the follow, Criven. We play all kinds of cool games here. We play like a viewer's choice game we vote on every week for the first time slot in the uh, early afternoon, or in the uh, early evening, I should say. Dance Street Fighter 3, then we play a long play, and our long play is Demon Souls, so. We're on this time of night. Pretty much every night except for Tuesday. We, we stream here Monday through Friday, and on Tuesday we play Third Strike all day. Every other day we play a little bit of Demon Souls usually. Startup frames, bro. Uh, I've only beaten this world. That's the only world I've beaten. I started it and I finished it. Now we're moving on. So I have enough souls now to level up. Let's go do that. And then um, go back to the first. See, I don't like to explore new worlds. I want to go back to the world I was, I was already at and see if I can go through that door now. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed, Kriven. Like, I see a, a, a path in front of me. I want to go down it. So I'm still curious about what's beyond that door in the first world. So I'll probably go back there. Instead of trying a new map like a person would, would do if they were interesting, right? I'm not that way. Startup frames, bro. Startup frames. Alright, so let's, uh, what time is it now? One o'clock in the morning? I'm not gonna go on my break quite yet. Level me up, girl. Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Then How'd you know? Soul well, you only talk to me when you need something. Withdrawn from its best. Yes. Yes. So I want to go here, I guess, huh? To the Tower Knight Archstone. This game is amazing. I feel like it's a massive world. And I love that. My playthrough got weird in the first world. I'll talk about it once it's appropriate, not spoiling. Which would be practically the end of your playthrough, lol. Hopefully I'll see you then, dude. Hopefully I'll see you then. I'll go kind of early today, guys. I had to take care of some business before the stream. I'm mad drowsy. But I don't want to go on break. I want to play a little bit more. It's hard to put the game down, right? I should go on break, but... I don't want to. There's a little fog going to stop me anymore, huh? That's pretty neat. All right. Oh. Cutscenes. I like some of the armors in Demon's Souls. Some of my favorite. Like, your character armor is nice. Yeah, the Murden set. Oh, hi there, bud. Oh, it's that guy. He was the guy that was kind of summoning the Tower Knight before or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty fucking creepy, to be honest. Yo, look at him go! He's living the life of O'Reilly. <laughs> LOL, that guy. I got some lore about him from somewhere. That little shuffle run. <laughs> Definitely living the life of O'Reilly. I got some pretty creepy carts here that are shaking as though they might contain a dog. Probably watch my stamina and I just literally attack everything I can fucking attack. I love to destroy them. Uh, Vin says that uh, you just killed a thousand foot tall, ten million pound dragon god. We now present you with a slightly creepy. <laughs> hey, all right, he was creepier than the dragon. Right, the dragon was real fucking uh, anime. Creepy clown is actually more intimidating to me. Truly the greater evil. Oh, hi there, dude. Oh, I thought I was gonna reach. Oh, I'm too slick. Hey, pooch. Oh. Damn. Claymore's such a, so godlike. Oh, what the fuck? I hit my button and, like, cancels my walking animation, but didn't actually attack. That was weird. So where'd that dog come from? We got dogs in there. Be free, Poochie. Be free. I can't hit him either. Okay, so they're probably not going to break out of there, I don't think. What the fuck is with these fucking birds, man? Why don't they land? They're just floating there. 
bruv. A little alley back here. Secrets? Appears to be locked. This is pretty fucking weird. Hey guys, can I get this treasure real quick? Thanks, bunches. That's no, uh, nothing to sneeze at. Space birds, just floating there. Look at them. They never land. That's not how birds behave. My immersion is totally broken. It's clearly the not bloodborne, totally bloodborne world. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. They have the same cards that also appear in Dark Souls 2. Pretty creepy. It's one way I can go. It's kind of funneling me this way. All the item names were different in the version I played. Okay, so you played the Hong Kong. It was, it was all in English, but different names. Real clever, douche. Yeah, these are in one spot, yeah. That, uh, the menagerie or whatever. With a big old dragon statue. Oh, hey guys. I hear a lizard, it's whatever. So we got, uh, this dude. Clownman. Dan Clownman, he's got a little posse. Oh. <laughs> no! Come, my soldiers, come! Alright. Yeah. Ooh! Come on, dude. Gonna wait a couple more seconds? Jesus. Wow. Hey, boys. <laughs> yeah, what a squad. Oh, my God. I got his fucking shield down. What a doofus. Wow, good whiff. Put your shield up, man. Whiff punish. Okay, I kicked my shield. I didn't do any stamina damage, though. Not sure what that's all about. You son of a gun. Get flattened. Cheater. Healing is cheating. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't expect the Demon Souls to come over to North America, so I imported it when it was released. I was eager when I found out it was in English and wanted to make the most yes, I can remember I excuse me. I kinda remember that when it came out. People were buying the Hong Kong version. I do remember that. Violator, uh there wasn't about to la Violator there wasn't about to let the last man get by without getting shit on. Slow walk at you and everything. The dishonor. Hey, what's up, Red Panders? This is the first world in the game. Um, world 1, not sure what exactly what it's called. But yeah, you can't advance in the game until after you beat one world. We beat a world! So we've been able to come back and make some more progress, I guess, huh? Sure is dark. I got the clown over there. Being a douche. I know he's not a fucking clown. He might as well be. The Violator. Yeah, past the Tower Knight, yeah. So they kind of came up from over here. Right, right, okay, okay. Let's run out with Reckless Abandon, guys. Hey, boys. No shield. You dumb dumb. Why no shield? This guy's got the right idea. Whiff punish. Put your shield up, bro. So what do we got here? Look, they're having fucking dinner over here! Sorry, guys. You know, this is the break room. Also, fuck your shit. I can go down there if I wanted to. Interesting. Or I can go down there. There's treasure. I have to fight my way back, though, huh? Look, there's quite a map over there. 
This guy's a really beautiful map. This whole game's, you know, layout is pretty sick. He's trying to lure me that way, so I'm actually gonna avoid... Who's fucking firing arrows? I heard that. Somebody way over there or something. Tempo says, well, I mean, now is really, uh, not really is the break room. Wow, Templar, wow. Wow. He's ruined my night, dude. I was having a lot of fun. You literally just ruined my night. This castle has so many layers and walkways. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. The map of this game in general is really awesome. Hey, what's up, bro? So you're looking like Assassin's Creed ass. Block and punish. It's like Dark Souls 1. Just block everything and punish it. Vince says, uh, what if Marla had stun gun headbutt? Oh my god. Dude, somebody mod this fucking game. Can you imagine in Dark Souls graphics doing that fucking flip? Doing the flip and then grabbing them? That would be fucking incredible. Alright, some souls. Souls, come unto me. Alright, anything cool over here? The answer might surprise you. Here we go. Not so smart, are you now? He's like, I love how they freeze up. Like, well, what now? He fucking got me. That's what now. Gangland style. Executioner style, dude. Cuts and blends. Like a syringe banging you in each of your limbs. I swear I see, like, a fire trap up there. Noise. Noise. I love it. I don't mind. Bonk. I love this sword. Car grab the tower demon. Ugh. I'm just gonna grab him. Dash up and car grab. Stun gun the tower knight and then German suplex him by the heel. Oh my god. You're giving me these fantasies, dude. How dare you. That would be fucking sick. Isn't there a game like that, though? Isn't it, uh... Um... Not God Eater, right? But, uh... There's some Japanese game that had a big... They had a big meme for a while about how over the top all the fights were in it. Bruv. Ooh, look at him go! He's the final boss right now. Are you the final boss, bro? Want to eat some stuff? Get flattened. So I'd probably heal if I wanted to. Probably be wise. Might find a shortcut back, though. I mean, I, I probably should heal, huh? So is late moon? I think full moon is not as good as late moon, right? Nom 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 nom. Well, that's pretty fucking good. So is full moon better than late moon? I don't know. Oh, hi there, dude. Oh, it's a range. Oh, the heal spell. Thank you, Vince. Uh, excuse me, uh, Templar. I forgot about the heal spell. I don't know, but you could play Bayonetta, I guess. Pretty sure she's supposed to be a giant monster. No, she definitely does. I love Bayonetta. I'm thinking of, I said, not God Eater. Maybe it was called God Eater? So Late Moon might be somehow better than Full Moon. Cause that full moon is pretty fucking strong. All right. Oh hi, dude. Ain't that sneaky, bruv. Nice gymnastics. God hand. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. God hand. No. 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 Not God hand. No. That game too, though. <laughs> that game too. But no, it's a game where you play as like a god of. A god of destruction, and you have to fight other things, and you like do this auto, 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 auto punch. Can't even think of eye roll, yeah. Since uh, the herbs are based on age, so the later the moon phase, the stronger the herb represents. He's want to show you his new dance, Venka. <laughs> well, dude, okay, don't sneak up on me for one thing. Full moon is is less good than late, okay. 
Then half. Really? Oh, no, 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 no. So crescent is the worst. So crescent, then half, then late, then full. So full is the best. Then new, then dark. I'm doing any stamina damage. Like he punches a planet guy or something. He was crossover into Street Fighter? Yes, I think so. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Dix. Yeah, I should know that. You dumb fuck. I thought you were using like an arrow, like pointing to. Like this to this to this to this. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, oh, hi, guys. Ain't we all just runaways? So we can't get past this guy now. Yes! The abuse! Oh, we got a combo! Fuck! Okay, that makes my life a little bit easier. Alright. That's not, that's totally safe. We established that before. Fight me, you coward. Quit holding L1. Don't you know it's not even that good? You coward. Quit hiding behind your shield. Who would do that? You can't with punish, at least with this weapon, you can't with punish the, uh, looks like I maybe backstab him. Oh, I can kind of do that. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I can't... I don't know if you can backstab in this game or how to line it up. Alright. Gimme. A sewer's wrath, yes, yes, sewer's wrath, that's the one. Let's see how it turns around. <laughs> He's doing the stare down. Yeah, that was insane. You could fight um, evil Ryu on the fucking moon. You can backstab, but can you backstab like the middle of combat like that? Good then, good night, everybody. Uh, have a good night, Apples. Thanks for hanging out. And as you think for the generosity, Audrey, of course. It goes a long way. Have a good rest. So you'll see me around, I guarantee it. If you don't call the cops, I probably died. 911? Hello? Think about it, I didn't stream today. I think this is a shortcut. Oh, hi, bud. You ain't that smart, dude. Better keep that shield up. Ooh. You'll see you around, Audrey. Fire beams. I think I didn't stream today. Can you go check on them? Mummified. Guaranteed. If, I, if I'm not streaming, guys, I'm guaranteed mummified. I'm over here just like... Just, you know... All sunken in. Hey, look at these dudes. So I can go actually even higher here. I have to wait 24 hours on a missing person. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Unless well, you have experience with that. Oh, it's this, uh, Douchesaurus. What's up, bro? Ah, we meet again. Fancy that. Hope you find something that suits you. Good night, Audrey. Talk to me. The king, he's gone mad like the rest of them. Ooh, talk well, to me. Perhaps he was mad in the first place. I can never tell with those eccentric royal oafs. 
Do you think you're better off alone? As we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our death. Cribs says, I hate finding out about Cut Content in the Souls game. I always want more. There's so many good games, though. Like, I found that if you want more, just play another Souls game. There's so many of them. Don't play Neo, though. Please don't play Neo. But play another Souls game, of course. So I can buy grass. That's cool. I also hate that they get piles of money and don't go back and put it in as DLC. Yeah. Yeah, so I can buy a long sword, claymore. I already got my claymore. I get a knight sword though. That's really expensive. What it is? It's a straight sword. Okay. Plate stuff, or I already have all that stuff. All right, nothing good here really. And I didn't like Neo. I did the demo. I thought it was okay when I tried it out. DLC was a mistake. Well, you don't like? Oh, you mean DLC? I think he means like as a institution. I'm sure you'll turn things around. <laughs> All right, so this is where I just came up from, so I can actually venture out here now. Treasure. Can I lock onto somebody? No. Great sword. Now you're speaking my language. How great is this great sword? Pretty great. Or just okay. Uh, actually, uh, it weighs more. I like that. It's a very large sword. Oh, it's a different weapon type. Oh, okay. It's like the great sword in the other games. I never really, really did use those. Let's see here. What don't you like about Neo? I never tried it. I could rant your entire ear off about that, dude. Maybe I will. Give me a second. I have to try and swallow my rage. Which poison did you drink? DLC or micropayments? But I have been wanting a Feudal Japan game. My friend puts, uh, pits it more like Onimusha than Souls. So just picks free updates. Let's see here. So yeah, I can use a great sword, but I never used a great sword in other games. I was like, excuse me, an ultra great. I just use a regular great sword. How about I buy the game? No, 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 Vince, no, 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 do that. Don't do that ever. Never, never buy Neo for any price. I know they're gonna be like, oh hey, Neo. You, know, you can get the uh, the complete version on Steam. Fifteen bucks this week. You're like, okay, fifteen bucks. That's a probably a pretty lengthy title. Lots of content. Wrong. Very, very, very little content to do. They try to stretch a very long way. Big problem. The biggest problem with that game is the lack of enemy types. There's like ten enemy types in the whole fucking game. God damn. That's a huge problem in that game. Okay, so uh, I'm actually going to try and... Oh, look how beautiful this place is. I'm going to try and go back. I don't want to go through that fog door yet. Let's see here. Well, I really like the dev studios that I like. I really like dev studios that I like. Dude, I love Team Ninja, dude. I love... That's why I thought it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be Team Ninja's take on the Souls formula. That would have been great. It should have been great. No one loves Team Ninja more than me, I guarantee it. But that game is ass. Can I, like, not glitch out? I want to jump over this without falling into the water, thank you. I bought Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 for, like, five friends. God damn, maybe be balling as hell, Kriven. Do I want to know how to make your money? Maybe I don't want to know. What's over here? Oh, yeah, this. They make hard games, yeah. Hard games for hard men. Like, dead or alive. But they're hard a different way, though. Let's see here. Irresponsibility. Oh, it's just this? Okay, that seems weird. So, well, I haven't missed anything, then. I thought there was, like, more shit going on over here. It's just an alleyway. Oh, there's treasure up there, though. Ah. Irresponsible. It's not that you're balling, it's irresponsible, huh? With your money. Dude, what better use is there that for money than buying Souls games? That's the ultimate investment. I have bought uh, Dark Souls 1 on sale for a bunch of more of my friends. I wanted to get people into Soul games, but it was a failure. No... Souls games aren't for everybody. They're only for gamers, right? They're not for people that... 
They're fucking casual. They're real men's games for real men like you and me in Templar. Dicks, I don't know. Dicks is Dark Souls 1 is a failure in general. I'm pretty sure I've bought 12 copies of Dark Souls 1. Templars, I sadly I can uh, lead a horse to water but can't make him drink. Alright, well, let's go through the fog door, I guess. This game has, like, no fucking fall damage. It's funny how there's an item that reduces fall damage. Like, what would it even do? So full is the bestest. Let's go with the late moon grass. Okay, yeah. Pretty sure the, the, the horse would drink if it rode it to near death. Okay, okay. That's what you're thinking, Nix. You're a solution-oriented guy. Meaning, just ride your friends till they play it. I love Dark Souls 1, but I would love to see a Dark Souls free of technological limitation. Just to be able to match the artwork. I'm not sure, doing, I'm not sure I understand. Dark Souls 3 on PC? That's gotta be pretty close to being unlimited. Oh, that's close. Thank you for the host, Snowbiz. Templar says, uh, we need an, an on-screen guide for every time Venka uses a healing item when his heal spell sits there. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, Templar. I keep forgetting. But the grass is so tasty. I imagine it tasting like Big League Chew. How about you guys? Yeah, he can be the on-screen, uh, the on-screen, uh, count in the chat. There, unfortunately, the artwork uh, for Dark Souls 3 is crazy. I don't think the frame rates would be any good, though. Wow, it gets even better than the way it looks if they were to have no limit to technology. I could fall down there if I wanted to, but let's not. Need a heal spell command. Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, hi. Wow, good shit, bro. Good fucking shit. Good game, good game, good game. Come on, come on here and fight me. Like, where I have the advantage. Because that'd be amazing. Ouch! Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. Three, four. He's a demon on. I got underneath the arrow. You guys see that? Bruh, one more, baby. One, two, three. Okay, it's a one off. One, two, three. There's four. You son of a gun. You're adorable. Come here. One, two, who? Three. Get done. Boom. Give me your sword. Full moon grass. Ah, that's pretty good, I guess. What was with his arm? He's running and had a dainty little arm out. Oh my! My monocle popped off with indignation at the merry little uh, chase. <laughs> All right, let's uh go with the healing spell for Templar. Oops, like this. For Templar. Ah uh, yeah. Free heals. One thing I haven't um, bought, though, is the art books. Oh, man. Not like Dix. Dix has all the art books. I can't justify buying collectibles anymore. I don't like clutter. But the art is so nice. Clutter's amazing, dude. Who doesn't like clutter? Just go rent a storage unit and put all your belongings in there. Just be like a dragon. That can be your little horde. How would you know the lore if you don't buy the art books? That's what I'm saying. Ah, yes. Strength, faith, build, always. Love that healing. <laughs> if you've never read the art book for Cookies and Cream, you have no idea what that game's all about. So that fucking clown was over here before. Where do you wander off to? The shield is amazing. They didn't do any stamina damage. Oh, he's casting spells on me. Oh, he's just one of these guys? Well, he's kind of in an awkward spot. Hmm. Yeah, I could probably Tasaiga those guys, but it would be real ham. I could lure him... No, I probably could lure him up there, actually. Oh, they lost track of me. Let's 
scrub. So he's a, he actually has a an axe instead of a whip, right? Instead of a crop. So he's gonna have new melee attacks compared to the old ones that I fought before. Gotta be ready. The violator was like, I have a birthday party to entertain. I'm getting paid in the souls of children that no one likes. I was considering uh, Pyre or Hex Dark Style. Okay. No. <laughs> Come here, dude. Come over here. Come over here. Away from the archers. That's right. That's right. Come here. Come a little closer, dude. Come a little bit closer. Ah! Oh my god. Oh! 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 Oh, it feels so good. Iron Ring of Keys and New Moon Grass. I don't want to climb up. I want to kill some of these scrubs. Hey, boys. See ya. Oh, dude. You scared me. Oh, there's the backstab. Oh, my God. Yo, I gave him the full 12 inches. All right. So I could drop down there if I wanted to, huh? It's a pretty f short fall. Who's firing arrows at me still? I should go on my break, guys, but I'm having too much fun. So, yeah, let's just climb this ladder, I guess. So I got another knight up there. I got a few of these guys. Oh, quite a few, in fact. And a couple archers. Hey, guys. Come get some. I deserve that and worse. Give me some space. Oh, who's coming down to fight me? Ooh, I need to heal. That's a fatty roll. That corpulent roll. Oh my god, where'd your health go, my mans? Bonk. Sorry, guys. I catch up with you guys here. Let's see here. I wasn't sure which uh, physical stat I wanted to combo with Pyro or Dark setup. Both Dex and Strength have good options, so it's not like you can go wrong. Which is why Dark Souls 2 was so sweet. I love Dark Souls 2, man. I love all the games in the series. Oh, that fucking scared the shit out of me. That guy's corpse jumping up and down. Storied Hero's Soul. So there's at least one more winner up here. And a bunch of archers. Oh, I can just do that. Wow, this thing is amazing. This sword is crumbelievable. I like the quick step of Bloodborne. It's so much easier to sidestep than to roll around. I wasn't a huge fan of the sidestep in general. Just enough decks, and it wasn't the sidestep I hated, it was the way it was implemented, like, you know, in the grand, in the big picture in Bloodborne. I want to sag these guys so bad. Tess Saiga! Alright, I should probably heal. Poop. Vinka wasn't going to be able to leave that alone. <laughs> So I could fall off there, but I'd be back where I started.
for better or worse. Hmm. Have I missed anything here? I don't think so. I want to keep traveling upward. Just let me read the next cum. Fuck Bloodborne! Alright. I'm sorry, guys. I'm back. I feel like I blacked out for a second there. With Bloodborne hate. That hate turrets. 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 Oh, hi, dude. Ain't that sneaky, dude? Come on. Thinking you're that sneaky. Just block an attack. Gotta make a little bit of space here. Like the Big Bang would do. Throwing daggers and shit, you son of a bitch. Worth. Oh, he's got I he's got the hyper armor. That was crazy. I didn't expect that. Secret throwing dagger. What happened there? I hit my square button, nothing happened. I saw an animation start, and I didn't finish. That was weird. I think if you're gonna start with any Souls game, maybe Bloodborne would be the best one to start with. Because the others are so much better, you can actually warm up to them. The throwing dagger is a secret to everyone. It's, it's a secret dagger. It's like I'm looking right at it. It can't be that secret. Thinking about it, that looks like uh, the predecessor to the uh, painting guardian. Yeah, you guys are right, huh? Oh, hi. Oh, there's treasure back there. I'm glad I did that. Bruh, if I just block your attack and kill you. That would be amazing. Cut it out. Some late moon grass. Ah! Uh, I love to destroy. More grass. Got quite a lot of souls now. Where am I going? And then look at uh, the grass that he prepared in his pocket. And then took the grass, yeah. That pocket grass. Man, is there going to be no break tonight? Maybe no break tonight, guys. Hey, dude, by yourself. Okay. Two. Three. Bonk. One. Two. Three, four, no four. One, two, three, nothing. That, that's the four one, okay. So he has, he has two three ones. One, two, three. That's a definitely a three. You're done. The fact that the flaming boulder didn't immediately uh, proceed down the stairs after you and hit you where you landed tells me this is where the FromSoft still didn't have their hate, didn't hate their home players. Dude, they always hate their own players. Japanese devs hate children. Right? They hate children and Americans. Get this treasure. All right. Damn, this is fucking fun. I love to win, guys. I love to win, but I hate to lose. But if I'm winning, I'm having fun. Can't quite one-shot them, it's so salty. Curses. Wow, I got underneath it. That's so funny. Okay. Ooh, underneath it again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hitbox porn, exactly. Low profile under the arrow. Alright. Where to next? It's true. Their cross region disabled only adjusts connectivity between Japan slash everybody else. Really? Wow. I get a fucking shortcut back to the start of the dungeon already? God damn. I've been venturing forth for a long time. Look at all these guys. Oh, 
treasure. It's more grass. So I can go down a couple different ways. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Card like my ex-girlfriend. So we got archers and shit. That's fine. Jesus, the range. Who else is around here? Nobody else, just you two. Alright, these guys are coming now. I'm gonna actually heal. They're coming somehow. I'm not sure how they're gonna reach me. But they're a coming. Here we go. What do you got for me? Grass? Ooh, here more soul. I love hard souls, dude. I've got a lot of souls, man. I would like to go back and spend them. If possible. He's like he's weirded out by the weebs. Who isn't? Me? I would never be a weeb, ever. Ever! Me, like Japanese stuff? Perhaps over-enthusiastically? Never. Can I go over your shield? That'd be godlike. No. Bruv. Oh, you can break a stamina. I deserve that. Got lucky there. Pretty sure someone has asked him about how he deals with how much people praise him. His response was, stare of weirded out. <laughs> stare of weirded out. I guess somebody hiding behind the corner. No. You let me down, demon souls. This like just freezes. So, uh, who wants to jump me? I know somebody does. Nobody, really. Hmm. Wait for translator. I got a bunch of half moon grass, that's cool. Man, am I gonna ever get a shortcut back? Oh! The answer is yes. Let me uh, heal with the half moon grass then. I'll use one more too while I'm at it. Just be safe. Alright. So, uh, what kind of board games does Mizaki play? Why do you find him so amusing? I get a backstab. Maybe. Help! Help! Soul Star soldiers are after me. In the name of all that is sacred, please open this gate. Oh Lord, hurry, please. They are almost upon me. I don't know how to open the gate. The keys. Uh, where's the switch? Oh, here it is. It's a switch, man. Thank you for rescuing me. Okay. Yeah, now I was gonna rescue who though? Two, three. Oh, what the fuck? Why did I lose my lock on? No way! That was my chance! One. Two. Okay. Okay. Yo, where are you going, Estrava?
Alright, he's still a couple hits from dying. Where's this dude going? <laughs> Wanna help me out, bro? <laughs> that would be godlike, to be honest. If I actually get behind him, he does that shield bash. Yo, why does not leave me to fight both these guys by myself? What a winner. Put your shield up. Okay, it doesn't really... Oh, shit. I only want to heal, dick. Just try it. Uh, holy shit. Rune Quest. Some board game called Dragon Pass I'm not familiar with. He either is or is not lurking. In this case, it was not. Sure, we're just still talking about Miyazaki-san? Alright, so I opened up a shortcut. Now, where is Estrava? Where are you wandering off to? Thank you for saving me. Later, fucker. No, really. Where did he go? Oh, is that you over here? You saved my life. This is the third time I am truly indebted to you. This is all I have. But please accept it. Better be good. Now, I must go. My father, the king, awaits me just over there. Oh, he's a prince. Oh, okay. Well, bro, how's your health looking? Are you gonna be okay? Oh, okay, he's not gonna go. And, you know, he's not gonna go toward the enemies. He's a sea smart like that. I don't know where he is. This is where my game got weird. I couldn't find him. Oh, dang. Because <laughs> I messed up or something. He's kind of hiding behind a little corner there, real sneaky-like. If you look up the book Sorcery, you might be surprised to see the inspiration for the first boss of Dark Souls 1 DLC. May or may not be. Oh, he either is lurking or he's not. I gotcha. I want to keep going forward. There's no reason to go forward, though. I can go back and use my... Cause I, this is a pretty good uh, checkpoint. We're going to go on break here, actually, guys. Stream till, you know, stream for another hour or so. I can justify a break. Guys! Alright. Give me some slack. Let's go spend these souls first, though. Oh, I love this game, guys. What I really love, though. Great shield and great sword. Break in the game. One day at a time. I get that. However, you can't hold an apple in your hand and say, there may or may not be an apple in my hand, and have it be valid. There is. So the alternative is invalid entirely. It's great, dude. It's great. Great shield, great sword. How could it not be great? Alright, let's go here. I read about a gear layout that was employed by Alexander the Great's soldiers. I think I mean in real life, right? A shield and two-handed spear. Oh, so I talked to Strava. Bruv. So you're a prince or whatever, that's kinda cool. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new. Get a lot of ladies as a prince? Or what? Venka may or may not be retarded. I'm covering 100 percent of the cases, so it has to be true. There may or may not be an apple in my hand. Yeah, I guess that's true. They had a strap on. Okay. Did they? Uh, oh, uh, they had a strap on the shield. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, gosh. They had a strap on the shield. Okay, I gotcha. They held it in place. And they could still maneuver the shield. Oh, okay, even though they have their hands both occupied. Thou so they got uh, both their hands occupied. They had a strap on. Then touch the demon I think I gotcha. Alright, so uh, let's seek soul power, huh? Endurance more equal. So here's the problem, though, guys. Like, I don't even need equip burden. I don't have any fucking gear. I can't find any gear in this game. This game's pretty, uh, pretty, um, chintzy with the gear. I've been wearing the same gear for the whole game. They had a strap on called the shield. Alright, 
Uh, let's see here. Yes, it's still a pretty good boost to my HP. To this very day. I got plenty of hard souls I could spend too. To be fair, you're typically wear the same items in most Dark Souls. That's true, but usually I upgrade throughout the game, though. Like, what I'm saying in Templars, I'm raising my endurance so I can wear heavier stuff. I want to be more tanky. But there is no heavier stuff. It's just, this, is, this is it, man. As Michael Jackson would say, this is it. No red pandas. Quit uh, sowing descent. I struggled with spending stat points at this point in the game. Hmm. Never makes me the most tanky, man. Storied soldier, storied hero soul. This one's probably like 8,000, right? God damn. Oh, 4,000, okay. God damn, I got bitches. All my life, I want money and power. Let's use one more of these. So you're raising the NT, yeah, maybe roll faster, yeah. But I want heavier gear. Yeah, I can roll slightly better. That's cool, I guess. But who wants to roll? Rolling sucks. Uh, then I decided to boost up my character since I was making a paladin. Not sure I would tell anyone in this game. Uh, tell anyone in the game world that I was a paladin. But apparently you were. Well, if you use the clinical definition of retard and IQ under 70, it's less subjective. There is my equipment by one, and my stamina by three. That's pretty pathetic. Let's just go with vitality. I got plenty of stamina now. This gives me more item burden as well, which is nice. I'm arguing that, dicks. I'm smart. You guys watched my long play of Toki Tori, right? I mean, sure, dicks and Zanzu solved most of the puzzles for me. But I'm still smart. Okay? I didn't pay too much for it. <laughs> guys, as usual, if you enjoy hanging out, if you want to keep the channel online, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash venkabout. Even a buck is a huge help. Put the talk in my belly every month, makes the stream more sustainable in the long term. Right now, the stream is not sustainable financially, but every month we get a little bit you know, bigger and grow the, grow the support, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine. Don't worry too much. Um, if you're like me, you know, you're totally broke anyway, right? You know, you want to help the channel out, you have no money, or maybe you do have some money, but there are better uses for it than helping a streamer. I totally understand that. No hard feelings. Help are free in that case, you know? The most important ways to help are all free. Like, getting in the chat, come say hi. Makes the stream more fun for everybody, especially me. Like, without you guys here in the chat, I have no reason to stream at all, so thank you guys for hanging out. Also, you can follow on Twitch for free. Tell your friends we're here. And save clips of highlights doing like funny stuff, scary stuff, salty stuff. It's all good for my break screen, so I can walk away for a bit, uh, you know, walk away for a bit and not feel uh, like it's too quiet. Oh, thank you for the uh, pledge, Kenny. Is that you, uh, um, Kriven? Yeah, the uh, we got a new young guy on deck here. The one dollar a month. It's a huge, huge help. Also, um, you can, uh, like I said, you can you know check out my YouTube channel. I have all of my past streams there in 1080p, 60 frames, including Dark Souls one, two, and three blind plays, as well as Bloodborne. Almost all the content in Bloodborne. We did all the bosses except for the uh, the ones in the Chalice Dungeons. Yeah, we had a lot of fun there. Me and Steve and Dix and all of us kind of goofing off, having a good time. That was, well, most of that was before Dix's time, but in Dark Souls 3, Dix knows what I'm talking about, with the uh, co-op run and the bare fist run. Excuse me, the, uh, the fist weapon run. Why is Patches glowing like that? Yeah, all the games on my YouTube channel are all organized in playlists, guys, per game. So you can go watch a playlist of, like I said, Dark Souls 1, 2, or 3, or Bloodborne, or Neo. We also have uh, retros like Sonic the Hedgehog, Commander Keen, Metal Gear Solid, Night in the Dream, Super Metroid, and more. We've got um, some AAA stuff like uh, GTA V and The Last of Us, and indies like 20XX, Dropsy, Toki Tori, and Omega Strike. We've got um, horror games, blind plays like Evil Within and Dead Space. We've got multiplayer stuff like Fortnite Battle Royale. I got my first ever, uh, my first day playing, got Victory Royale. True story. With a bunch of other noobs, I got very lucky. We also have uh, Dungeons and Dragons, my first time playing, and Dix's first time playing, with our friend Overlord Steve as the DM. That was a lot of fun on stream. And also um, GTA Online, me and Templar and Overlord Steve goofing off with Shadow Scyther at Templar LLC. Getting that money, honey. We're going to go over a short break here, guys. Come back in like three minutes, um, maybe with another shake in my stomach, something like that. I'll see you guys very shortly for another hour or so of Demon Souls. Until then, peace out.
Don't think you're Kriven. Yeah, thank you, dude. Dick's hated the Chalice Dungeons, huh? 20XX, which is still being updated and has a new character who I'm not sure I'm entirely a fan of. Yeah, I haven't tried the new character yet. But I'm glad it's still being updated. So Kriven's been playing D&D for ages. Yeah, that was me and Dix's first time ever playing was on stream uh, a couple months ago. Then we played it again. So we have two episodes now on YouTube. I'm not trying to get shanked, dude. We had a lot of fun. So we're playing 5th edition because we're noobs. Oh my god. We're hardly even really playing because our team is so crazy. Party. Like we have a, a really massive party. Oh, oh. And our friend the DM, you know, Overload Steve, has trouble balancing the game for us. But, you know, he's doing his bestest. Yo, guys, this week, Maple Story. Who's playing with me? I know Dix is going to play. Maple Story is a free download, guys. On um, this Friday, we're going to do a Willing to Buy Hat event where uh, me and Dix and hopefully other people will come play some Maple Story. I played it last night to test it, and I got it working, um, you know, pretty well. It's kind of confusing. I think I want to um, put a post in the Discord about a uh, recommendation on how to start the game, and then go explore, go to this world, you know, that we can all play together. But it, the tutorial is so fucking long. I didn't even read any of it. Crivens, I've gotten into uh, uh, Simbarum. Simbor Simbarum, huh? Thinks that the system I'm sticking with. Never heard of it before in my life. Basically, you have a ton of energy to work with, so you use your weapons. But you also get unique power instead of alternative primary attack variants. Oh. So you don't get the same weapons as as uh, Nina and uh, Axel, huh? Because uh, you have dude. a bunch of NRG. Oh my god. I'm the fucking scissor kick, man. I'm trying to fucking do my outro, guys. God damn. Uh, I think so, Dix, yeah. I'm going to, um, so I'll put that in the Discord, uh, tonight, I guess. I just picked one at random. Seemed okay. Yeah, I think we should use the same class. That way we can ensure that we're, you know, we start the game in the same place. Because I guess the different classes start in different places sometimes. It's a Swedish RPG system that was translated to English. Apparently, the Swedish RPG community is super supportive of the game makers. My longtime Swedish friend told me about it. Okay, that sounds like fun. I love Swedes. It's a whip. Oh, you get your energy back. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. 